Arthur in Richboro, Pennsylvania writes to me, Paul, when I had my MagnaPens, they were rated at 50 hertz to 24 kilohertz. I set them up in my main listening area and I used them in conjunction with a subwoofer. After all, that seemed to reflect conventional wisdom for getting proper bass. Then I disconnected the sub and found I liked the outcome better. There was no need to find the perfect integration point and I felt this new setup was satisfying my expectation for bottom end. I was also getting better bass definition, which I value over sheer quantity. So, I'm wondering how much of the lower registers can still can I still expect to hear as I understand that specs to mean that bass will only begin to roll off at 50 hertz? If so, if I theoretically played a 25 hertz signal, for example, would it be audible to any appreciable level? Yes, it would. So let's, let's take this thing apart a little bit, if, if you will. When a spec says, like the FR30 spec is about 25 hertz, so 27 hertz, this goes down amazingly low, as does our other speakers. These go to 35 hertz, these go to, gosh, I don't know, 30 hertz. What does that mean? That means that is their 3 dB down point. That, when you measure, they're flat, and then they start to roll off then the roll-off occurs at a certain slope. And that's what we refer to as this, the, 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 the roller coaster that goes down, right? So if we're 3 dB down at, say, 50 hertz, and we have a slope of 6 dB per octave or 12 dB per octave, which is more common, that means that one octave, which is double or half the frequency, so at 25 hertz, we will be 12 dB down, actually 15 because you can start three and then down here you'd be about 15 dB down. You're still making low frequencies. You're just very much down in decibels, in volume, and you'll have to look on your speakers, you know, what, what is the slope that it falls off, but that three dB down point is, is where you measure all of that stuff. All right, so that said, yes, you're still getting some of those frequencies. And my magnaplanar system always had subwoofers in it. But unlike what most people do, which is use the subwoofers to augment the magnaplanars, I was using subwoofers to augment the room. And I let the Maggies go down naturally. And I think that's always going to be the, the better way to go if you can manage that. So I would let the Maggies go full range. That's what we got. And then... I would do a separate setup with subwoofers to make sure that whatever we were playing in the room blended perfectly. And when you get it just right, your magnaplaners should sound like they have that low bass, as does your room. And that can be elusive. It's one of the reasons why I've, I wrote the stereo, which is the audiophile's guide, the, the, one of the first books in it to help you integrate that in a seamless fashion. In this new series that I'm writing for the Audiophiles Guide, I've got an entire book on subwoofers, how they work, what their deal is, how to implement them, how to make magic with subwoofers. And I can't wait to release these into the wild so you can read those and finally get it so you can hear what I'm hearing, which is Whatever speaker system and whatever room you're in, you have like bass that just puts this big grin on your face. And that's, that's where we really want to go. So, all right. Thanks for the question. Take it easy.